Most beginners jump into ReactJS and get stuck due to a lack of proper guidance. So in this video, I'll share some important things you must know before getting into ReactJS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, let's understand why ReactJS. We have many other options like Angular, Vue and more. So why ReactJS? The answer to this question can be different for different people. For some, it's a project requirement, for others they're just exploring it. But I will give you the most generic answer here. ReactJS is a widely used and highly demanded library. It helps solve complex UI problems with features like Virtual Dome. Also, one more major point here, ReactJS is used by many top companies in the world which adds a value to your skills. Now, let's talk about the prerequisites you need to know before learning ReactJS. So React is not for absolute beginners. You cannot just start learning React without knowing the web fundamentals like HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Since React is a front-end library, you must have at least a basic understanding of HTML and CSS. Understand what the DOM is. You must also familiar with layout techniques like layouts, flexbox, grid, positioning and responsiveness. Then here are some JavaScript fundamentals you must know. React heavily relies on JavaScript. So here are the essentials you should be comfortable with. First in the list is variables. Know how to declare variables using let, const and var and understand the difference between them. Next we have functions. You should understand different ways of defining functions like regular functions and arrow functions. Also learn about parameters and arguments. Understand local and global scope especially when you're using same variable names. Then we have arrays. Arrays are used a lot in React especially when working with data and rendering UI. Here are some of the important array methods dot .map, dot .filter, dot .reduce and for each. Master these methods, then moving to the next thing is strings. UI involves a lot of text, so you need to know how to work with that. For that reason, you need to master string methods. Here are some of the useful string methods you can learn dot .slice, dot .replace, dot to lowercase and to uppercase. Now moving to the next point is promises and async await. Learn about dot then, dot catch and dot finally method. What is the difference between promises and async await and understand when to use which. Then API calls. Frontend is incomplete without backend. Learn how to make API calls using the fetch API in JavaScript. Understand how to use post, get, delete put and patch methods. Last thing I want to add here is ES6 plus features. Make sure you are familiar with arrow functions, destructuring, spread and rest operators, import and export syntax. Now let's talk about the core concepts of React. First in the list is virtual dome. The virtual dome is a lightweight copy of the real dome. React uses it to efficiently manage and updates the rendering. Next we have JSX. JSX looks like HTML and used to create UI elements in React. Third in the list is components. Everything in React is component based. You will build your entire UI using reusable components. So these are just the basics. There is a lot more you will discover once you get into ReactJS. So that's it for today's video. If you want to learn JavaScript from scratch, then definitely check out my JavaScript for beginners course. If you found this video helpful, then like this video and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then click the subscribe button and also press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding everyone.